Welcome back to Location, Location, Location. We're in Liverpool with house hunters John and Sarah who've got a budget of £90,000. But the market here moves so fast that they're having trouble spending it. So we're here to help. Yesterday we showed John and Sarah three houses. First was a spacious Victorian terrace, but they were concerned about the location. The second was in a great location, but didn't give them the space they want. And the third had both the space and the location, but needed a great deal of work. John and Sarah love the flat they currently rent in the city, but they haven't been able to find one to buy with the space they need at a price they can afford, until now. Over the past five years, Liverpool has seen a sharp rise in the number of warehouse conversions and new dockside apartment complexes. This one in Waterloo Quay has a two-bedroom flat for sale. At £98,500, it's slightly over budget, but that's a great price for this kind of property. I think you've got to look at this space and think, we're going to take ourselves away from all the Victoriana mm -hmm. we've seen over the last day and live in this space in a much more modern way. Yeah, think modern. So okay. think modern as you look around. I mean, for example, mm -hmm. if you had a window seat, you know, a sort of bench mm. coming around here, you could have a circular table which would probably seat six and a much better entertaining mm. space. Mm. The master bedroom has an ensuite and there's a spacious second bedroom. Investment potential here I think is very, very strong. It's a classic investor's flat. Yeah. If you ever felt that you'd be moving away and letting it out, it's modern, Definitely. easy to maintain. Out here you've got a little terrace. At the moment, oh, as we nice, know, a very it? windy really spot. Nice. But it is very nice to have it. It's incredibly yeah. sunny. Oh, it's beautiful. We love city living. We, we love it. We'd love to live in an area like this. So it's just a matter of looking at space, right. I think. Like most flats, there's an annual service charge, but at just over £500, it's not too steep. There's £844 million of European money being pumped into that area. Right. Okay. There's only one way prices are going to go, Yeah, definitely. with that on the back of it. So, though space might be an issue, there's plenty to seduce them. In any other city in the rest of Britain, if you had this, you'd be paying through the roof oh, for of it. Course you would. If we can yeah. get it now for a reasonable price, and a city like Liverpool that has got some things going for it and it's a growing city. Mm. Should we jump on it now? The flat's contemporary chic is tempting, but we've just had a call about a whole house that sounds perfect for John and Sarah. It's back in Egberth and has just come onto the market, so we're the first people to see it. This traditional terrace has four bedrooms, loads of original features and an asking price of £95,000. Okie doke. Wow. Now, Eight flowers. <laughs> a lot of flowers. Right. This house is packed with period details, which we think they're going to love. Now, Sarah, this would be your sitting room. And I think probably it's the best proportion room we've seen. Yeah, it's massive, isn't it? I mean, it just says space, it, which is what the flat didn't say, yeah, isn't yeah. It? it? It's a space yeah, issue. Yeah, absolutely. It's really nice. I like the high ceilings. Fantastic. The second reception room is currently being used as a bedroom. It's a good size and with a large dining area and spacious kitchen, there's a real open plan feel. There's also masses of space upstairs. Smallest bathroom but workable. Yeah. And the last bedroom here. Another one. <laughs> another bedroom. Yes. Weren't expecting the fourth, were you? No. We rather thought it could be a music room. Yeah. It okay. seems to be the natural place for it. That's a detached wall, that's a detached wall. You can right. as much noise here as you like. The wood disciples would kill me, but I think this would all look a lot better painted white. It would have been white originally. You can take the doors down to the dipping shop and have them dipped for about £12 each, but you can't take the banister all that way. So what do you do? Well, you sand it, the whole thing. You need to get a key. Then you prime it, undercoat and paint it white. It's a hell of a lot of work, but it would look fantastic, so bright and light, and this hall would look a lot bigger. Here's a good sign. There's a modern damp-proof course being injected into this wall. There's another good sign behind me. There's an air brick. This house is full of wooden floors and there's quite a gap between the potentially damp soil and the wooden floors above. And those air bricks allow the air to circulate in that gap and keep everything as it should be. Make sure they're never covered up. It's an excellent size. Once again, the decor is not exactly what we'd want, but yeah, I really like it. I, there's a lot of scope. Going well? Sounds positive? 
I think so. It's a great yeah. house, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, absolutely. It it's got the space we want. Definitely. It's got even more space than we probably need at times at this point. I think so. Just to really confuse you, we've still got one more property to see, so don't be making any decisions now. So all sounding very promising, but it is £5,000 over budget. Our final house, no, not that one, yes, that one, is more than £18,000 cheaper. It's currently being developed, has three bedrooms, and it's in an up-and-coming area. Now, guys, this house is under construction. The builders are still here, and they've got about a week's worth of work left to do. It's exactly the size that you're looking for. Okay. Yes. It's on the market at £76,950. Considerably less than anything else that we've looked at and considerably well within budget. Yeah. And yet we feel it does offer certainly the space that you like. It's going to depend on your feelings of the style of the house, the road, the area. The house has three good-sized bedrooms and a massive kitchen. It's all being finished to a very high standard, but it lacks the original features that we know John and Sarah really like. It's just not for us. Save you lots of money. Hassle free. Plenty of space. Yeah. I we just walked in and we knew it just didn't have that feeling for us that the other house had. Have a think about everything yeah. over yeah. the course of the night. We will. And let's meet up in the morning and go from there. After two days and six properties, it seems the choice is between city living in the dockside flat or space and original features in the traditional terrace. Both are slightly over their £90,000 budget, but what would that buy you elsewhere in the UK? A two-bed flat in a traditional sandstone tenement in Glasgow. A studio flat in a former vicarage in Croydon. Or a four-bedroom stone and slate house in Caerwedros, West Wales. It's day three of our search in Liverpool and decision time for John and Sarah. We've had a bit of time to think about it now. What do you want to do this morning? Well, we spent all night talking and um, we absolutely and definitely want the house, Brabant Road. House number five, not the flat. No, when we went home last night and we went back to our flat, it's not quite as big as the one that you showed us, but we still thought we were a bit cluttered as we are and we'll only carry on buying mm. things. And We want probably... scope for more space. House is on the market at 95,000. We mm -hmm. know that there's another person going around to see it at um, one o'clock this afternoon. Yeah, we, um, we know that the whole market in that area sells quickly. It's just a case of we haven't been in a position before where we've been the first people to see it. Mm -hmm. So now that we're there, we know that the asking price is always offered at some time and it always goes at the asking price. So we're going to try and jump the negotiations and go straight in with the asking price. So you're 100% happy and confident to go in asking price straight away? Definitely. We just want to get in there, be number one at the asking price and get the house. Jean? Hello, my name's Kirsty Alsop from Channel 4's Location, Location, Location. You very kindly let us view Brabant Road yesterday. We made the decision that if we can get a lockout, and i.e. that no one sees it ever again, we will pay 95,000 the asking price. What I might quickly do is just pass Sarah over to you so she can fill you in on her address details, etc, etc. Actually, I'm going to pass you over to John. I'm Hold on two seconds. to be passed over to. Hi, Jean, it's John. With the offer in, it's fingers crossed. And then... Hi, thanks for bringing me back so quickly. No, 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 that's the, the basis that the offer's made. No one else to look around the house. Thank you so much. OK, bye. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. So when the camera had kissing the arm. Oh my god. on TV. <laughs> um, you've got to get the survey done within two weeks. Yes. That's right. really important. You know that the survey is always the thing that reassures the yeah, vendor that you're yeah, serious. Um, they want uh, exchange <laughs> as soon as possible with a deferred completion. Right. And she said, I heard her say, I heard her turn to a colleague and say, can we cancel that one o'clock, please? I'm like, whoa. Excellent. <laughs> well done. Excellent. So after six months of searching, John and Sarah have finally had an offer accepted. <laughs> you nearly walked past your new house, you all <laughs> <laughs> my <fault>. This one. <laughs> Time to have a thorough look around their future home for any potential problems that might affect the sale. Pointing seems good. Flashings are good. Yeah. We do know that the roof was redone three years ago. Oh, right. Perfect. That's quite a comfort because we know that the 
current vendor had a survey done, raised a mortgage on it three yeah. years ago. For the girls, a chance to make plans. You get rid of these cupboards and you reinstate the fireplace. Then here you would have your bed. Then here you would have a bank of cupboards. But sure. this door you would open up and instead of being a cupboard, it would walk through into a walk-in cupboard and shower room. Wow. There is some loose mortar work there under the gable. Yeah. I don't think it'll cause a problem. I'm sure the surveyor will comment on it and right. just notify you that it's there. Nothing major. It wouldn't, wouldn't be overly concerning me. Perfect. Spiral baskets yeah, which turn ones. around. Mm -hmm. You could have those stacked in the corner and you could put your shoes arranged around on the, oh, like, like this. Like Look, that. I'll show you. You'd have them arranged around like that. Boom, 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 boom. That's Turning. great. It would be great So I'll have to get storage. some extra shoes for this piece. Of course. A new house and new shoes. There's no doubt it's all very exciting, but the house isn't yours until the contract's signed. We've done the easy bit. Now you're into the dangerous territory. You've got to push the solicitor, push your money lender, liaise constantly with the agent, keep everyone informed, use email, it's a brilliant tool, and just keep on top of things. You promised you'd get the survey done within two weeks, yep. and you we'll want to that. exchange as soon as possible. You do not want it to fall through at this stage. No. 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 Don't take not no after for all an this answer. work. Yeah, no. no it's exactly. your house, yeah. it's your deal, look yeah. after it. Let us know how everything turns out. Yeah, thanks all very much for your help. Thank you so See you later. Thank you. Bye. See you later. Bye. Bye. So, did John and Sarah take our advice? We've had the survey done and it passed with flying colours. Yeah, we're really excited and uh, we've started packing already. We're hoping to move in as soon as possible. Yeah, we're fantastically excited and just can't wait to move in.